Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again to For the Love of All Things Film. I'm Tanner. And I'm Amanda. And uh, we're just going to talk to you guys a little bit today about some of the new movies we got. Uh, some of them are in those steel books like we talked about before. Some of them are just regular Blu-rays. Um, looks like we got about six new ones to talk about. All right, the first movie we're going to talk about is a movie called Jackie. It is from 2016. Rotten Tomatoes gives it an 88%. And we had been wanting to buy this for a while. Um, but we held out and held out and held out, mm -hmm. and I finally, I'm glad I did, because I, finally I found one that had this really cool slip case that opens up, yeah. and then there's like it, a really bad glare. Yeah. It's like, yeah, if it's yeah. not a steel book, if it has a slip case, yeah. he'll buy it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's, uh, it's got Natalie Portman in it, and it is, um, kind of about Jackie Kennedy after the assassination and how she deals with all that and, and stuff like that. So we started yeah. it. We haven't finished it yet. It was late at night when we started. We shouldn't have started it, but um, it's su supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. Anything JFK related, we're we're down for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For sure. And then the next one, I know hardly anything about. My buddy Nathan, that's on these videos with us, he told us it's really good and we need to watch it. It's called Children of Men, and it's an it's a steel book. I think it's a pretty cool steel book. I kind I like the art on it. It's got like this little embryo. Um, and I basically what if I remember right about this movie, it's in a time in like in the future when uh, women can't get pregnant, and there is this one girl that somehow nobody knows how, but she gets pregnant, and so everybody's after her, like they want um, to take her. Um, so there's there's this guy, um, Clive Owen is the actor. He it's his job to like transport her to a sanctuary. Um, it's also got Julianne Moore in it and Michael Caine. Which, um, I mean, I, we love Michael Caine movies, of course. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Ender's Game. It's from 2013. It got a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I kind of thought it was a little better than that. Um, I watched all of it. I don't know if Amanda made it I through watched, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I almost watched um, all of it. We have but, a habit of watching them late at night. But this guy right here, that is Ender Wiggins. I think Wiggin, Wiggins, Wiggins, something like that. And he's recruited by the International Military to um lead a fight against uh like aliens like there's this alien race that's supposed to be taking them over and uh spoilers but at the end they trick him the like harrison ford and ben kingsley they trick him and he does something like he thought it was one thing he was doing and it, it was something completely different and oh he freaked out and it was this big deal but it's a really good movie uh, next one we got is from 1977, a Steven Spielberg film, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. The glare. Yeah, sorry, it's a glare from the window. But um, a movie I had not ever seen before. It's got Richard Dreyfuss. He was uh, Hooper from uh, Jaws. So he was the scientist guy from Jaws. Um, it was really good until the end, and it lost me. Um, and honestly, it's from 1977. If you haven't seen it, it's, I mean, okay, spoiler warning. But what I don't understand is at the end, this guy, like Richard Dreyfuss's character, he plays um, Roy, Roy, and uh, he just like leaves his family to go be with aliens. Like he's got kids and a wife and just, but anyway, what happens is him and there's a, another female character. Um, she is the mom from Christmas Story. What is her name? Uh, Melinda Dillon. She plays Julian. She... And him, they're not like a couple or anything, but they have this close encounter of the third kind, which is contact with an alien species. Get all sunburnt. And yeah, they get stuff. like burnt on part like side of their half face, of their face because so they, they felt... were because only half of their body was exposed to the alien aircraft mm -hmm. flying by. So they get to like these like sunburn, uh, tan looking thing going on, and then um, they uh, they start getting these mental like telepathic stuff going on. And it, they uncover this secret government um, plot to meet up with these aliens to have the first actual encounter of the third kind with this foreign um, species. And they, the only way they find out about it is because of the close encounter they had with the aliens that gave them these... They keep sending them these telepathic thoughts about where the meeting place is going to be, and they, and they figure it out. Yeah, and it was kind of cool. It was the 40th anniversary edition. So, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so the next one we got is another steel book. It's a Jennifer Lawrence movie that just came out this year. It is called Red Sparrow. Here, let's see if I can 
sorry, I'm a big layer. But um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just new this year. It came out 2018. Um, Rotten Tomatoes doesn't like it very much. Neither does my buddy Nathan. Rotten Tomatoes gave it 53%. Uh, Nathan said it, it wasn't that good, but I like Jennifer, we love Lawrence, Jennifer Lawrence. So like we're gonna give it a shot. I was kind of bummed because the Steelbook was only on a 4K edition. We don't have a 4K TV or anything like that, so we had to pay a little more for it. But um, Joel Edgerton is in it as well. He was in The Gift, uh, The Great Gatsby, and The Warrior with Tom Hardy. I really like him in The Gift. Um, the, I mean, The Great Gatsby was good as well, but he was not by any means the character that I would ha have been focusing on as Leonardo DiCaprio and Margot Robbie. But um, <clears throat> basically, and I'm going to read this because I don't really know much about this. Um, it's a ballerina, Dom, Dominica, Dominica or yeah. Egrova, something yeah. like that. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm butchering that, I'm <laughs> sure. But she's recruited to the Sparrow School, a Russian intelligence service where she is forced to use her body as a weapon. Her first mission is targeting a CIA agent, which is Joel Edgerton. Um, then it and that threaten who threatens to unravel the security of both nations. <clears throat> so, so like I like, said, dress is real skimpy. And dress <clears throat> yeah, like she uses her body as a weapon. But um, the director of this is Francis Lawrence. He also directed all of the Hunger Games, so I'm sure that kind of had something to do with getting J Law involved there. But the next thing that we have, and the final thing, well, is the best it. thing that we've bought yeah. in my opinion in a while. It is the 25th anniversary edition of Jurassic Park. It is a limited edition box set. It's also in 4K, but there's a Blu-ray yes. copy, and they're both steel books. And this yeah. is one of my favorite things about it, is that the Blu-rays, the logo, the back of the logo is a blue color. And then on the back, the logo is printed in blue. And see, it's got every movie in it up to Jurassic World, because obviously Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom, has not come out yet. But then the 4K one is red. The back of the logo is red there, and then the logo on the back is also red. That's pretty. Um, pretty yeah, sweet it's set. pretty awesome. And then you should show them like the front of that and the back. It oh, yeah. looks well, really I cool. Well, I already showed the front yeah, and, there, yeah. but then the back, and it's kind of like metallic. -y. I don't know if you can really see. Well, you can kind of see. see that. Yeah, but, but it's really cool, and it's, it's like embossed. Cool. Not on the back, obviously, but like yeah. the logos and the writing and stuff the side is embossed. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> we went to Best Buy to get this. It was literally, we got there when they opened, it was the only one they had. Yeah, the only and, copy. And then we saw it, they raised their prices at Best Buy another $10. 15 15 It was this, yeah. we got it for $55. Um, and then the uh, we saw it at Vintage Stock, right? And Entertainment. We Vintage Stock and Entertainment, and it was yeah. like $70. Yeah, so we got a steal. And yeah. those weren't even, it wasn't even a steel book. It was no, just the regular. no, that was the regular one was seventy dollars. Yeah. So, so yeah, that one we were pretty excited about, and so we're going to be rewatching these soon, and we'll probably do a short little video about them all. And but we'll watch the new um, one too when it comes out. Yeah, and for those of you that don't know, which I'm sure you guys do know at this point, this is a Steven Spielberg films, um, and uh, like the first one got the best ratings out of all of them. The first one got a ninety two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. The second one, The Lost World got a 53% like nobody on critic wise really liked it and then it went down even lower with Jurassic Park 3 to 50% and then the lost or not the lost world Jurassic World the one with Chris Pratt in it it bumped back up to a 78% on there which I mean I do think the third one was probably the worst one of the trilogy but that's the original low. trilogy um I don't know I mean the third one was pretty bad in my opinion I like I would so. probably put it at that 50% if not a little lower uh, I liked the second one more than I did this, the third one, obviously. Um, I think 53% is low for that one. Um, but I also think 92% is low for the first one. I would put that probably in 96, 97. Not, you know, not much difference, but it's a very good movie. And everybody, you know, the, we talked about it when we were kids. Like, you know, it, they made dinosaurs look real in a world where obviously dinosaurs are not alive. And anymore. for, I mean, what year was the first one made, do you know? Well, it was 25 years ago, so that was like... 92. Something like that. So in... 92, no, 93. 93 92, 93, 93, 93 yeah. somewhere around in there. But, I mean, they did a really so good job, a and they have an all-star cast list in that first one. The third one, some people didn't come back, but, I mean, you know, you've got Samuel L. Jackson before he was crazy, Samuel crazy, crazy Jackson. famous and doing every <laughs> movie, you know. I mean, he was still very famous at that time because he had already done things like Pulp Fiction and stuff like that, but... You know, um, there's a lot of good people in it, and I'm happy to see that most of those original cast are going to be coming back 
for some appearances. Well, not uh, most of them, but you know some of the bigger names are going to be coming back for appearances in the Fallen Kingdom. So that's going to be pretty good. And I'm sure, and I know we'll go see that at the theaters with our friends Andrew and Yvonne. They love Jurassic Park movies just like we do. So you can expect a review from that. But yeah, so that's kind of what we picked up. Um, and like I said, I know we're a couple days late getting to it, but we got these on the 22nd. Um, that was Tuesday. So uh, we've got another video that we'll be putting up in a couple days um, of some more things we picked up um, on a different day. But, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Yeah. See ya.